This is Sports Drive. Welcome back into Sports Drive. Once again, I'm your host, Preston Moore. I mentioned we'd be talking about some women's basketball, girls' basketball at the high school level. Joining me to do that now is News Channel 10's very own KJ Doyle. KJ, thanks for coming down the hall and hopping on for the show. Appreciate it, as always. Uh, let's talk a little bit of high school girls' basketball. Obviously, season getting started up. And just yesterday, West Plains taking home a win against Bushland. Right. Well, Bushland, obviously, it's very early in the season. It's difficult to really tell rankings. But yeah. Bushland ranked 15th in the state. Yeah. before yesterday obviously we'll see where they land now but I mean still nothing to sneeze at a big deal for West Plains I would say right yeah you know uh, obviously a new coach there at Bushland too this year so mm -hmm. still figuring some things out in the early right. uh, early part uh, last year their their leader Emma Troxel she graduates so mm -hmm. now uh, still a lot of players coming in in new roles but Brooklyn Boyette made some big plays yesterday she looked good she's mm -hmm. probably gonna be one of the players they're relying on all year to be consistent but you're right West Plains Obviously a big year for the basketball programs, uh, both the, the girls and the boys basketball programs. You know, last year we looked at how the West Plains football team succeeded. They saw a lot of success. Even the soccer team saw a lot of success, girls soccer team. Um, baseball team did pretty well, but there was always that thought of, okay, year two, the players get older, there's more seniors than they were last year because there was almost, you know, really limited senior class last mm -hmm. year. So there was always that thought of this is going to be the year where they can really, really compete. And this is, you know, last year was a feeling out process and now this is the time to do it. And yeah, West Plains uh, girls team yesterday obviously uh, had that big run at the end of the second quarter, a 9-0 run to end the second quarter, and then I think they outscored them 14-6 to in the third quarter. So that really made for the difference in the game. And really it was, it was A.J. Norman making a lot of plays out there for them. I mean, just doing a little bit of everything, really spearheading that attack. Didn't lead them in scoring, but uh, was, was right up there, I think maybe one or two points off of, of doing that. And it seems like she's going to be kind of the engine that makes the team go this year so that uh, that that I would say that of, of all the players on the team she probably stood at the most from the what we were able to see from yesterday's game yeah absolutely when when it comes to the girls basketball scene kind of at large who which teams are you kind of looking out for this season to maybe make a run or have some success obviously and yeah. high might be one that's one that I'm looking at in particular yeah. after that win against Monterey a couple nights ago well it's amazing you know Emerald High's roster right now coming into the year I was you know I'll be honest about it I was a little concerned obviously losing Mackenzie Smith, such a key piece. Losing Lacey Rice, who was uh, another key piece, just, I mean, uh, this go-to option in the corner, very good shooter, um, and I was wondering how they were going to replace those two pieces. So far, Tatum Bell is, is kind of taking over that Mackenzie Smith kind of role for them, and uh, doing pretty well you know we'll see how it, it, it she fares when she has to deal with more size like I'm mean, very interested for that matchup with Tascosa how they're gonna deal with Avery Carter uh, even Trissa Dowd uh, that's you know a, a really great big man combo and probably one of the best we have in in uh, you know girls basketball around the area so mm -hmm. really good post combo that they have with those those two players so I'm interested to see how Emerald High is gonna deal with that but Bella Edwards I mean I got the chance to talk to coach Williams about her he spoke so highly of her. She is one of the best shooters that probably they, they've they've had in in quite some time. I mean, you know, I I, I don't want to go too far with it and and uh, say too much about what Coach Williams told me, but he's pretty excited about having her on the roster. And he, you know, I, I just watching her shoot, it's it is automatic. I mean, I I have honestly, there are some great shooters around the area. You talk about, you know, Zach Brown on mm -hmm. Amarillo High boys team is one of them. Mm -hmm. Bella Edwards might have the most automatic shot that I've ever seen. I mean, it is just, it looks like just so pure every time yeah. she's able to put it up there. So um, with her in there and Jada Graves and Tatum Bell and uh, Sanaya Mitchell too, who, mm -hmm. I mean, for as good as Edwards has been shooting the ball, Sanaya Mitchell has been incredible defensively mm -hmm. like watching her spearhead the Emerald High defense and the way that she's kind of hounded these ball handlers of these sorry of these opposing teams mm -hmm. has been really really impressive um, and then just I mean you know so it's, it's really been interesting to see how Emerald High has, has reloaded obviously as all great programs are able to do mm -hmm. um, but there's some other great ones around the area I mentioned Tascosa Avery Carter how she's gonna progress this year and mm -hmm. obviously big expectations for her mm -hmm. and 
you got to give a shout-out, too, to Randall, Sadie Sanchez. I mean, Randall, really, with both K.J. Thomas and Sadie Sanchez, they have two of the most exciting players to watch. Yeah. Same was the case last year. It's going to be the case again this year. Sadie Sanchez, uh, just in a, in a tournament, they went up against Wall, one-point loss, but she puts up 31 the other night. Yeah. Um, she can put the ball in the basket flat out like she is a, an incredible scorer of the basketball. So mm -hmm. she's going to be a fun player to watch, too, this year. It seems, I mean, her work ethic, the way you see how much work she puts into her game uh, is really, really impressive. So she's going to be one of those that is is really, really fun to watch. And, uh, you know, I, I think those are kind of some of the players that definitely have to have my eye on early yeah. on in the season. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like the list is too long to, yeah. to be an exhaustive list. There's so many great uh, players, teams, and talent around the area. KJ, once again, thank you for coming on the show, joining me to talk a little bit of girls basketball. Always appreciate it. No problem. We'll be right back with more Sports Drive right after this break.